Welcome back to a look at your weather. Looking at some of these rain totals from yesterday, we did see that in Jackson they were just near four inches of rain as they were seeing a lot more of those heavier downpours. Here in Meridian, we were over an inch and a half, which still included some of those heavier downpours in our region. But we saw that today we had that potential, but it looks like majority of them did stay off to the south. We're seeing that what we can expect is that that cold front held off the showers to the southeast and it has become stationary, which is going to allow us to stay fairly dry today and into the weekend as well. It's going to feel a little bit pleasant, but maybe some humidity though still in store for us as we're going to have a lot of moisture still coming up from the south. Temperatures were sitting into the 80s, 87 in Meridian, 84 in Laurel, and seeing even 80s in Alabama. But this is where we see that that stationary front's located, which cooler air is behind that, which is allowing for Jackson and even temperatures all the way up into northern Mississippi and into Arkansas stay into the 70s as those highs for today and seeing that maybe even seeing that those 70s though won't make it to our region as that front's not looking like it's going to move very far. Feel like temperatures did get up into the 90s and Meridian feeling like 93 degrees, which is still a little bit warmer and we'll still feel more of this humidity values as we move through these days. But these are going to be staying just a tad bit cooler as they have some more cool air in their region coming from the north. Here we're seeing that showers are just south of the Meridian area. Even if you're just south of there, you may be seeing some light showers, some increased clouds as well in the area. But for the most part, we should be staying dry as we move through the evening. As if we can take a look, the stationary front is located right on top of Meridian, which is allowing for these showers to stay off. And the stationary front doesn't look like it's going to turn back into a cold front and move out of area until at least Sunday, which may be bringing in the chance for more showers to be back into our forecast just for a few days. But more humidity will be on its way as we move into next week. Lows will get down to 65 tonight, so allowing for those temperatures to get a little bit cooler for those actuals, but still staying feeling a little bit warm and humid overnight and allowing for those temperatures yet again to get up into the mid 80s. So morning fog is definitely going to be possible as well with those humidity values and all that moisture we saw from those storms, but then we'll clear to see some sunshine for your Friday. As we look even into the weekend, sunshine still going to be around mostly cloudy conditions all of the weekend. Maybe some slight chances to see a shower on Sunday in those evening hours when that cold front or the stationary front does break off into a cold front yet again, but temperatures are going to stay up into the 80s, which will feel nice as temperatures even just a couple miles north of us have been staying fairly cool with the, that cool air that's coming from the north, but we'll continue to see some southerly flow bringing in that tropical air and even into next week, even as we see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, temperatures are above average, which is 85 for this time of the year to see that sunshine, warm air and humidity. All those 80s. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. Take it. You know, as much as I love my winter time, it does feel a little bit nice to have some summer like temperatures into the fall time. Well, you're from up north, so yeah. you kind of like that. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah.